Good morning, church. Welcome to our daily devotion insight. Today, I want to share with you a devotion entitled, Don't Worry, God is Faithful. Don't worry, God is faithful in season like this pandemic that we are going through. Don't worry, God is faithful and He is still faithful. I want to read from Thessalonica, uh, first, uh, 2 Thessalonians chapter 3, verses 2 and 3. It goes this way. The second part of verse 2 says, For not everyone has faith, but the Lord is faithful. And he will strengthen you and protect you from the evil one. You know, sometimes our hearts can be failing and our faith can drop. But you know what? It says that the Lord is faithful. And he will strengthen you, empower you, protect you, lead you and guide you and I. As if you and I hang on to him and look to him. You know, the Lord is faithful. And most of the time, most of our worries can be summed up in two words. What if? What if? What if the medical tests are bad? What if the economy plummets further and worse? What if my COVID-19 test is positive? What if I lose my job? What if uh, the assumption of my sickness is cancerous what if you know all these things what if if we, if, we, if we are always what if and what if in our lives it will somehow bring fear confusion and doubt into our lives and we get worried a lot if we can't sleep we can't eat we don't have smile anymore we lose our joy and comfort in life you know scriptures reminds us that fear one more time, scriptures remind us that fear involves torment. When fear comes into your life and my life, they torment us. We can't sleep, we can't sit, we can't talk, we can't relax, we can't even go for a break. It torments you at night, day and night, because our mind keeps on thinking and thinking and thinking about it. 1 John 4 verse 18 says, there is no fear in love, but perfect love casts out fear because fear involves torment. But he who fears has not been made perfect in God. So if you and I have the love of God and faith in God, it will cause us to be firm and continue to trust God in our life. Amen. So therefore, and by focusing on your worries instead of God's faithfulness, you are letting Satan torment you. But you don't have to. Jesus tells us not to be worried or afraid in John chapter 14, verse 27. We notice now that fear torments us. When you and I have fear in our life and worries in our life, anxieties in our life, the devil torment you day and night, give you a nice restlessness, sleeplessness, no peace, no comfort, can't eat, can't sleep. And Jesus tells you and I not to be worried or afraid of anything. You know, Paul says, do not give the devil an opportunity. Sometimes we, we hear this and we hear that and, and, and we keep in our mind and keep on thinking and thinking and thinking over and over and over again. And we are actually giving, by doing that, we are actually giving the, the devil an opportunity, a foothold in our mind and our memories. Be careful. All right. Solomon, Solomon uh, also said something like this. Solomon writes this in Proverbs 15 verse 15. He says, All the days of the afflicted are bad. But a glad heart has a continual feast, regardless of the circumstances. You know, it tells you that if you and I are constantly fearful, uh, it, it, it afflicts you and it's bad for you and I, but a heart that learns to live at peace, a heart that learns to trust God, a heart that learns to relax in God, will continuously let you and I feast on the goodness and the wonders of God. If you are afraid, of what lies ahead. Stop. Stop it. And look back at God's faithfulness. Why? 
Because the Bible tells us in 1 Thessalonians 5, verse 24, it says, Faithful and absolute trustworthy is He who called you to Himself for your salvation. Jesus called you into Him salvation. And He will fulfill His call by making you holy, guarding you, watching over you, and protecting you as His own. You saw that? So, if you are plagued by worry, here are some Bible promises you can stand on. If you constantly have anxiety and worries and fear, these are some scriptures you can memorize and read them over and over again. Will you follow me? 1 King 8 verse 56, it says, Praise be to the Lord who has given rest to His people, Israel, just as He promised all right, no, not one word has failed of all the good promises he gave through his servant Moses. Hallelujah. What he says is simply this if you may say, but if I fail God, can I really expect him to help me? The answer is yes, yes, and yes. Because God's love and God's faithfulness never cease. That's why it tells us in the Word of God, it, God's mercy and God's love never stop coming to us when we learn to turn to Him. Amen. Even though you and I fail. Second verse, 2 Timothy 2 verse 13 says, If we are faithless, He remains faithful. You saw that? For He cannot disown Himself. Even as much as we fail God, as much as we disappoint God, God will never fail you. Now He will not disappoint you. Now, amen. Before God redeemed and made you His child, He was aware of all your faults, your failure, your flaws, and so on and so forth. Nevertheless, His Word says that He is Faithful. We may be faithless, we may be not be faithful, but He is faithful. He will not go back on His word and He loves you and I the way just as you are. He wants you to come to Him just as the way you are, but He do not want you to remain and stay the way you are. Change to become a better person. Amen. Don't be, always live in fear. Live in the peace and the assurance of God. Amen. 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 Second Thessalonians. 3 verse 3 says, But the Lord is faithful, and He who strengthen you and protect you from the evil one. So the word for the day today is, Don't worry, God is faithful. One more time, Don't worry, God is faithful. And everyone say, Amen? Amen? God bless you. Let's pray. Father, bless each of us. Help us to learn to look to you, look to your promises don't worry because our God is a faithful God. Amen. And bless us with a great day. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. God bless you and you have a great day. God bless.